It was 1979 and Mazda discontinued the RX-3 and unveiled a brand new badge, the RX-7 under the SA body style. A car designed to rev high. This thing has a 10,000 RPM redline. I don't know if that's factory, but it is now. This car has a 13B rotary engine from the FC Turbo 2. It was the front midship rear wheel drive inspired by the Lotus Salon pop-up motherfucking headlights, IMSA GTU sanctioned road racing wide body kit. This thing is, is bonkers and it gets more rare and crazy as we go on. 14 inch wide, 15 inch tall, HRE three piece wheels from Japan that you couldn't find these anywhere. The RX-7 had more championship titles than any other manufacturer model, still to this day. And racing's effort with the number 92 RX-7 has completed Mazda's second straight year of sweeping both GTU and GTO at Daytona. This collects more memories than your grandfather's cuckoo clock. And today we have Steve Lopez with us, who is actually the original owner from this car. I started building cars when I was uh, 15. One day going down to the, to the beach with the family, I saw this little sports car going down the road and we stopped at the Huntington Beach Mazda, we saw it there. Katie and my dad had to get him to co-sign for me, sure. which was which is good. Who's still on the registration to this day? Right, I'm right. still on the, on the registration. And you're not you're not going to change. Not going to change it. Sentimental value. <laughs> he will stay on there with me. It was the only vehicle we had, so we yeah. drive all over town with it. And cool. uh, I used to take her to work in the car and drop off in Arcadia, go do my route all the way out in the beach area, drive yeah. all the way back. This is every day. So I purchased the, the body the body kit for it, um, the rims, the tires that went with the body kit. So I started building the car, and then I still drove it every day to work. Uh, Things a uh, fire-breathing yeah. uh, rotary beast now, yeah. right? You have the turbo two motor, a uh, big old turbo in there. You have a yeah. Garrett turbo, a Garrett right? Turbo in it, and then uh, what kind of power do you have? Uh, about 450. 450. 450. 10 pounds of boost. 550 primaries. I do 1680 secondaries. RL racing injectors. Uh, okay. Center force racing clutch. Sure. Uh, changed, took the stock rear end out. Changed it to limited slip posi. Disc all the way around now. <laughs> yeah, a, a sprung bumper, right? Yeah, the original so, sprung bumper. It's like Mazda wants you to hit things with this. <laughs> these cars back in the day didn't have power steering, so when you drive one of these older ones, you are driving it. I like the old school feel, you know, so I just yeah. wanted to keep it the way it was. I think it matches the car, you know? I yeah. mean, when they were racing the GTU series, that was all manual steering. It was all manual. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's real stuff. Correct, you know? correct. Drive like a man, die like a man. <laughs> a lot of sentimental values with it. When, when I can't handle it anymore and my grandson gets big enough I'll hand it over to him he'll get it cool yeah, so the the single owner tradition single, right? yeah keep it in the family so much value you know growing right. up with this car and the memories you know I mean your your, your family will have memories for the rest of their whole lives for you know being lives. in this vehicle and yes going to yeah. work going to the babysitter the odometer's gone over twice Wow on the car Wow original transmission yeah the original driveline the odometer's gone over twice the, the odometer's gone twice. so right now it's reading 14,000 miles Brand so new? Yeah, it's on the third time around. <laughs> it, uh, it says money, there's a price for everything. It says not on this one. Yeah, yeah. When I'm done with it, it goes to my grandson. 